from snakes and scales. We're a large reptile rescue. We do educational programs with reptiles and other amphibians and other animals that we have rehabilitated and taken in. We're going to be doing a series of video logs in the future. This is going to be our first one, which is about a very important topic, uh, especially about these two animals we, that we've taken in and rescued today. And that's about education on pets that we take in, and especially also wild animals. I have two snapping turtles that we just taken in. They're about five or so years old. They were lovingly taken care of, but not taken care of well. A little bit of research goes a long way with any animal that you home in your house for your kids or for yourselves. I'm going to show you these guys now. Now, again, this is a common snapping turtle. They're found all around the area, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and a lot of the U.S. Um, what you can see right off the bat is you could almost eat cereal out of his shell. It's completely domed inwards, uh, which is just indicative that he didn't have the care, the lighting with the ultraviolet light, uh, or the diet that he needed to develop properly. And now, unfortunately, his spine is pretty severely curved in his scales are all misformed here, um, and you can even see, he, while he looks, other than that, fat and happy, he is unfortunately fairly overweight. So he was probably fed uh, pelleted food designed for other turtles, not quite as carnivorous as this guy. Um, and again, anytime you take any animal home, uh, it's best to do some research. Snapping turtles especially should not be homed. They should be just kept in the wild because they can also be dangerous. Um, you can always contact us as well for any information on any animal that you might have. Hope you guys have a great day. Have a good one. Good luck. Bye now.